Yo, what's up, Crocs and Clan members? Yo, Kai Watch fans, and others who have on the video. I'm Sorry, Crocs, and today we are here again with episode 8 review of Yo, Kai Watch. I know it's a little late, it's a lot later than I was hoping to make this review, but uh, life has a tendency to throw stuff in a way. And I, I was basically helping out my dad with a bunch of stuff because he has a. It's like a. It's like a, a community service thing. It's a, it's a group around here that they're, they're, they were gathering stuff so they can take like these um, old folks at a, at a nursery homes. It's on Monday, so they were like gathering to and I was like helping my dad go down because. Anyways, the point is I was busy. Okay, that's, that's all I you need to know. Um, so this episode uh, was. <clears throat> Um, how do I put this? It was a little bit better than the previous one from this morning, but it's still not, not, no, I don't know, it's just, like, I already said I'm not touching the Jamaican stuff anymore, because it's completely irrelevant and unnecessary, and I keep saying that, like, I'm not going to reiterate it in every episode review, but just letting you guys know that I'm not going to touch those anymore. Um, so the first segment that I'm going to count, uh, they were at school. And this, this segment right here makes me question last, ep you know, the previous episode's last segment as well. Like, I'm still, I'm just questioning this show at this point. Because you have a, you have this, they're in the classroom, and Keta really has to go pee. Class ends, so he books it outside, and he's going to go to the bathroom. There's a line. Okay. He leaves there's, uh, to the second floor bathroom. There's a line. Goes to the third floor bathroom. There's another line. And he's like, this has to be the work of a yokai. And I'm just sitting here like, see, this is the reason why I question this, this show. This, which is a legitimate thing... Right? This happens. It has happened before. I have seen this happen. Right? Okay? There there are times where I... I mean, I personally didn't go to the bathroom, but I saw lines on every floor of the, of the building. People didn't even go to the bathroom. It's a thing that happens. And he questions it as a real thing and immediately thinks it's a yokai. Yet in the previous episode, when he hears somebody talking to him, he doubts that it's a yokai until it happens on multiple occasions. A supernatural thing? No, nah, that can't be a yokai. A regular thing that has a possibility of happening? Oh, that's definitely a yokai. There's no consistency here. I, it's, it's, oh my gosh, it's stupid. <sighs> Turns out there is a yokai, right? Of course, because it's just, it's just going to be real. It's a little elephant thingy that needs to go to the bathroom. And he makes other people want to go to the bathroom because he needs to go to the bathroom. That's basically the whole point of that. And then, like, he sends out the little lizard guy who... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember... Don't worry, guys. I'm going to memorize his name eventually. Eventually, I'm going to do it. But he then gets has to go to the bathroom. G-Man Ken shows up, and he has to go to the bathroom afterwards. He gets arrested. Uh, go figure... Uh, and then he brings out the little the little hat guy who takes the memory away from the elephant, and then he just takes a piss on the floor. I'm um, just like, okay, that's awkward. And then he pisses out the metal, and it, like flows out, and then whispers like, "Hey, it's a metal, go get it." And he's like, "I don't want to touch that," but he has to do it anyway, so he grabs it. And he's like, "Oh." I got the metal, and I'm just like, that's kind of gross. Ah, and then it ends, and then it moves on to the next segment, which was a lot, a little, just a tiny, tiny bit more tolerable, because I knew what it was. Uh, they basically, and I remember the name because there's something that I know about. It's it's a he 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 and it's basically it's a it's a technically a thing that ha it's happening in real life right now. People like to seclude themselves in their homes, in the rooms, and I tend to do that a lot. I like to be in my room. Now, I'm not saying that I am that kind of person, 
because I do have, I do go out, I do do things outside of my room, and I just, I prefer being in my room because that's where I just feel the most comfortable. But I don't live that lifestyle, okay? I, I don't, I, I don't, I, look, I'm not here to judge or anything. I do know about the lifestyle, though. And I know, I know that I probably would have ended there if, if, if not for the fact that I made friends. So, it is a thing. Oh, but it's a yokai, right? It's a freaking yokai. Uh, and the yokai is called Hihi Hamori. Uh, it's just no bad thing, and he likes to seclude himself because he—that's just what it is. And um, he possesses Jibanyan in Keito's room. He's going up there because he's gonna get a soccer ball, and Jibanyan basically locked the door. And uh, Whisper is actually the one that says it's definitely a yokai. He knows what it is, but he doesn't remember the name. By the way, can we make, stop making that a gag? It's why is it bad for him to look at the dictionary, like the encyclopedia? Freaking Ash does it all the time. He's seen a Pokemon a million times. Oh, what is that? Let me scan it with my Pokedex. It's not a bad thing to have an encyclopedia. There, well, there's no reason you have an encyclopedia. You use it, okay? That's all. That's what it's there for. So I don't know why that's a bad thing that he keeps checking. It's not a bad thing to double check. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I mean, maybe he doesn't know about it, but it's a good thing that he has... The Yokai Dictionary handy, because that's what it's for. I just wanted to throw that out there. But, uh, so he explains it. And they're over here trying to figure out how they're going to get him out. And then Kit is like, oh, I got it. Chocolate bars. And because Jibanyan has like this really creepy ass obsession with chocolate. Two chocolate bars. And he's like, oh, I'll just leave them there. I'll go eat them later. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the man that literally, like, stuffs, like, he eats an entire chocolate bar in, like, half a second. Are you, t has hallucinations are about chocolate. What, what, what is going on? And then, he's like, oh, I got an idea. And then I was like, oh, gosh, he's going to pull out a porn magazine from out of nowhere. Because, you know, Jim is standing there like a pervert. Pulls out a freaking, like, uh, magazine of like the the famous group that Jibanyan is in love with, the one that he's so obsessed with, he has posters of all the girls and like bikinis and shit all over the place. Basically, a a thing of that. And then like he like Keita and Whisper like start like over exaggerating what's on the pages. So Jibanyan opens the door and like snatches everything, and, like locks himself in again. He's like, "Bruh, <laughs> what is going on?" And then he he brings out the little lion guy. To motivate him, but unfortunately he fails. He actually ends up motivating himself too much and just books it. And then he summons the little, like, uh, the couple, the, the little happy, uh, cloud guy and the little purple female blob thing. Uh, they basically go in together to fix everything. Uh, and then, like, they basically, like, just crush him. Not only emotionally, but physically. Like, he just, he's just, he just got by. <laughs> he got destroyed. <laughs> it was the stupidest thing ever. They literally just pulled a cartoon in an anime. They just flattened him. That's all they did. They just flattened him and then slid him through the door. And I was just like, you can't do this. <laughs> uh, but he was he was he 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 was still like all depressed. He's like start banging his head on the door. And he started doing his hundred claws. But he's more, he's just like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? And so he's like, oh, I got it. I'm going to bring out the little elephant that makes everybody piss themselves. And somehow it works because when he makes Jibon Yan have the need to go piss, it creates the he Komori to need to go take a piss. And then they get separated. And then... Now Keita, like, Keita, like, because he's like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do because there's, like, at nighttime, there's a lot of noise and, oh, my Lord. This is what I mean when I say people are assholes when they drive by my house. Well, they drive by the street. They're just assholes. Look at that shit. But anyways, so, um, what ends up happening is that because, 
the nightlife is not possible because there's too much stuff going on. The Hikamori basically has nowhere to go. So Keita kind of gives him a home. So now Keita has three yokais living in his house. He's got Whisper, he's got Jibanyan, and now he has Hikamori which is going to live in his closet. Uh, so there we go. Uh, and then basically the episode basically ends like that. Uh, very simple. I, like I said, I like that one way, way more than the first one. The first one was just play out stupid, and just uh, I start questioning everything. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be it for this review. I'm sorry it's out so so late. Uh, I'm gonna have another one up tomorrow alongside a Pokemon Showdown. If you haven't had a chance to, or I mean, if you haven't like if you haven't done it enough already, make sure to vote uh, for the next walkthrough. Uh, we have another week, a, li a little bit more than a week left, so make sure to vote as much as you want. Tell your parents, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your cat or dog or whatever it is you have as a pet. Tell the goldfish you have that you ignored the whole day, you haven't even feed him yet. Go go tell him to vote. Yeah, even, even the fish has the right to vote for this. Uh, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sorosa Croxon, and I'll see you guys in future videos.